Wendy from the Wendy Minta channel. You're yeah, welcome the channel. I went live some few minutes ago, but unfortunately, I think my settings wasn't right, so I had to go off and back online. So do leave a comment when you just join, okay, guys? Today is a Sunday, and tomorrow is a holiday. And I'm really super excited and looking forward to that. I have, I have one or two things planned out for tomorrow and I really can't wait. How are you spending your weekend slash holiday? Let me know in the comment section and let's chat, right? So guys, let me tell you a story. Okay, I have a lot of stories. So, so this story is from when I was in SS, right? When we were in SS, we went for four years. That was when the uh, the politi politicians were playing with our, our life. They were playing cha -cha with our life, right? So we went for SS four years. And in our fourth year, that's when you write the WASI. And so when you get to the fourth year, that's when the share Waka seniors. And for context, I went to a single sex school, right? and in the fourth years that's when the share waga people like that's when they bring the phones they bring all those things and so we're writing one saying when you bring the phone you can be able to get that poor when that poor comes right so that's what the share waga people did me i wasn't share waga so i didn't send them so when they one day one day when the girls on my street like after the form ones form twos and form threes have left for the house and were there and then they came to do kids inspection so if you didn't go to a boarding school in ghana kids inspection is when um a house mistress or senior house mistress comes randomly into your um dormitory and they come and conduct inspection so when they came they came to uh they came and they took one of my friends let's call her rachel right hi this is monster how are you how is your weekend going so let's call her rachel so when our senior has when our husband just came she came and she took rachel's um she took rachel's home accounts bag home accounts bucket so home accounts is like it is catering in senior high school and and they they learn how to cook so that they can be interested in future so they have their own bucket that they use specifically for cooking so when the house mistress came she went to take rachel's bucket hey come and see rachel and like a little backstory rachel and the house mistress they were besties who they were besties rachel came and she was like so let's let's call our um house mistress um porch like porch right so she came and she was like miss porch miss porch miss porch miss porch not my bucket not my bucket not my bucket too like the heck the whole house mistress we are telling you come and see the house mistress like she was so surprised she was stunned the woman was too stunned to speak <laughs> so if you just join me don't forget to hit the like button and comment okay i'm just sharing um one of my experiences in um senior high school with you guys this is a live q a chit chat if you have any questions that you want to ask me feel free and drop them in the comment section and i will answer them so back to the story yeah so our house mistress was too stunned to speak when the when uh, the girl uh, what, what what did we give her oh I've forgotten her name so when the girl um when the girl said no 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 Miss Posh not my back and not my back and not my bucket then Miss Posh was like hey Richard how are you it's been so long <laughs> please don't forget to give it a thumbs up don't forget to give it a thumbs up so Miss Posh said. Oh, 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 so let's say the girl's name, what name did I give her in the beginning? So let's call her Leticia. She's like, oh, Leti, 
Liti, have I shined on myself? Have I shined on myself? Or oh, I've gone to look in the bucket. And at that time, man, guys, I kid you not. It was so funny. I wanted to laugh. It's like those laughs are that when you are laughing, you have to do and hold it all in. And what was her name again? Miss Poch. She did. She continued to do the kit especially. She seized the phones that she wanted to see. She took all the uh, non-prescribed things and she left. Immediately she left. One girl came. One girl came to stand at the same same spot that Miss Poch was standing at and was imitating her. It was so funny, guys. I thought I would share with you guys. Let me know in your comment section. Let me know in the comment section your experiences with Ghanaian boarding school. And also, if you just joined, um, this is a live Q&A chat with me. We are having virtual coffees, virtual teas, virtual wine. Do leave a question or a comment or a suggestion. Or just say, I'm here with you. So that's I. I feel that I'm here with somebody. Okay, just leave it in the comment section. How is your holiday going? Are you spending it with the? Are you spending it with your family? Are you spending it with babe? What are you doing? Or do you have any plans for tomorrow? Guys, eh? This is like off topic. I just saw this guy on TikTok. I don't know if you guys know him. He's called Oakley. I don't know if you guys have seen him. He's on TikTok. He has really interesting stories. Like, I think he used to be uh, an Uber driver driver at a point. Let me see if I can play one of his videos. He's very interesting, eh? Hey, my internet is not working today. So, guys, if you have any questions, let me know in the comment section let's chit chat i started the live earlier on by um, i don't know i didn't get the settings right and one of my friends Lori lawson had to prompt me for me to change the settings so um thank you very much Lori, for drawing my attention to this i was telling you guys about how i started youtube and how i got into beauty and all those things like about some few years ago i wasn't like that i didn't care about makeup I didn't care about hair i didn't care about beauty like it wasn't my cup of tea i didn't care about all those things right so um i was this girl that every time that my mom my aunties they were dressing up i didn't care like i didn't care to draw my eyebrow i didn't care to do my makeup i wasn't i didn't want to be involved in all of that so when i went to uni there was this girl that she really said something she really said something that um there were a lot of guys in my class so let's say i did a technical course and we were about 220 in class and 20 of them were female and the 200 were all male so you guys can imagine it's not a place that you would always want to like dress because i'm sure nobody's even dressed because we are all studying right thank you laurie thank you very much we are all studying we did it information technology i did information technology so we're all about our books, trying to learn and all those things. So my friend was like, hey, Wendy, um, you are very, very pretty. But why is it that sometimes you dress like, like you're not too um, keen on makeup. You don't like to dress the way like that. You're always dressing simple, sometimes tomboyish and all those things. And I don't know, but at the, at, at that time, I felt offended. I don't know why. It, it was not offensive. What she said wasn't offensive, but I felt offended. And so I took it upon myself to really watch YouTube videos, to watch, like, to, to research in the beauty industry, to do things that will make, like, to, to learn about things that would introduce me to learn about makeup myself. I don't know if you get what I mean, right? hi Dwayne. thank you if you just joined here i was i'm just telling you guys how i got into beauty and onto youtube so do leave a comment like share all that jazz right so after she said that it really stood out to me and at the time i was working in the school library and so 
um, I had access to free internet and I had access to guys that were some sort of geeks and they knew how to download off the internet and that was uh, in the year 2013 thereabouts mm, yeah 2013 thereabouts there was, an, there was a tool that you can use to download um, videos off YouTube back then and back then there wasn't a lot of there were not a lot of people on YouTube the people that really did beauty back then was i don't know if you guys know there is this youtuber called patricia bright she is um a nigerian british she lives in the uk and she used to do beauty stuff and i used to like her videos because they were really simple to watch easy to follow the steps all that i watched her beauty make her beauty videos um look books vlogs and everything like i was really interested in a life then but at that point in time i was just learning to learn how to do my makeup learn how to carry myself as a woman learn how to look polished learn how to look neat and everything so i learned that and i always used to tell my friends right and my friends who were living abroad i used to tell them that oh you should start a youtube channel this and this and this and this and this and that you can do this you can do that it brings you this opportunity and um, you can earn an, um, a passive income you can get this you can get that you can get that but i didn't think that was their cup of tea they, they were not interested in that so fast forward i came um to the corporate world corporate gun i was working and i met one of my friends from uni and she was like when did you uh you know you can actually start a youtube channel right and i was like really and i thought about it and i mean i've been learning all these youtube videos for i said learning i've been watching all these youtube videos for about three to four years at as at the time that she said it and i was like okay i mean you're really making sense i could at least try it the editing apps um got a camera at that time um at that time i didn't know i could uh go to a laptop got an edit best it wasn't the best but it was out there i mean at least that's what they say right you never know until you try you have to try and know what the people want so it was sort of like an audience audience experiment so i was just trying to learn and understand what the people want how what sort of things they want to see on my channel all those things so i did that and um oh, please hold on a second let me try and share okay guys um i switched to um my whatsapp i'm back now so do you have any questions for me is there anything that you'd want to know i'm enabling my um live chat okay so whilst we wait for questions i have some um questions here that i'm going to answer right um please don't hesitate to give me a like give me a thumbs up guys give me a thumbs up let's enjoy ourselves okay so let me just go into the questions right they are asking so what is my favorite song at the moment my favorite song at the moment my favorite song at the moment is last last it don't cast now everybody they go now everybody go the job break fast oh <laughs> Yeah, that's my favorite song. I like Benna Boy. I love Benna Boy. I've loved Benna Boy since the first track. Since the first time he played that his song. Um 
um, I don't know the title, but I think it's uh, it's called Ebele Bele or something. When I saw that video, when I saw Benabo, I was like, that's my man. Odogu, 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 Odogu. The next question here says, what? Well, what was the last movie watched? So the last movie I watched was co it's called uh, Major, right? It's an Indian biography. And it's about um, an Indian soldier who loved his country. Like the guy was ready to die for his country. They just released it on Friday or so. I watched it and I was so teary, guys. I was crying like a baby, like somebody has sent me. Or so, or so, or somehow. I, I really, really cried and I don't even know why I cried. Have you guys watched any movies that made you teary? Like, I, I, have you watched any movie that made you teary or something? The last movie that I watched that made me a little bit teary was um, The Major is one, and another one is The Fault in Our The Fault in Our Stars, right? I don't know if anyone has seen that movie, but that movie was. It's sad, right? It's sad. It's nice but sad. I don't know what genre it is. If a movie is sad and nice, what genre do you put it? Guys, let me know in the comment section. Book I am currently reading. Hey guys, so I started reading this book, The Atomic Habits. I started um in the beginning of this year. I never finished. As 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 I see, I'm still reading the book. Hey and so the next question here is what is the last food i ate the last food i ate was um jollof and salad with chicken i went to um is it a funeral a funeral or a party and that's what they shared so that's what i had and they are asking <laughs> what is my latest instagram obsession so my latest instagram obsession is to look at nice aesthetics like those mini vlogs that people do you know at the end of the month you see that they've posted a video called a how should they call it like june dump july dump may dump like all the things that they've done in the month they summarize it and then they put it they put it in the comment section so guys if you just joined i am just um we are just chit chatting, getting to know ourselves, knowing me, knowing you. Yeah, let me know, let me know, guys. Let me know, let me know, guys. Would you ever, guys, would you ever try a dating app? Today, when I was coming from the funeral that I told you guys about, I saw like um, a billboard and they were doing an advert for um, a dating app. I think the app is called Finis. Let me check it's finished and i was asking myself if if i would go and look for love on a dating app guys would you ever do that like is it let me see finish dating app okay would you guys ever do that let me know in the comment section nowadays they i mean there are lots of things changing in Ghana and we are learning a lot of things. Our mind is opening, so there are lots of things that are not wrong. They are how do you call it? It's like it's not diversity, but it's um maybe learning other people's culture because I think that thing is more dominant in the western region, in the western part of the world. Like dating apps dating websites and all those things but in ghana people would rather meet people through people because they are going to be able to recommend them better mm. yes guys so if you just joined us i was just telling you guys about my ss experience my experience in senior high school my experience in why why i started beauty and um content creation in the first place on youtube so i was just telling you guys um i was also hoping that you guys would share one or two things with me but it seems like this is a monologue but i mean there's the first time i'm trying something so i mean there's always 
the first time to try something new and you learn as you go so guys let me know if you just if you watch this also later don't hesitate to leave your comment in the comment section and i'll answer guys um i was going to do this for an hour but it's almost um nine o'clock and i'm still waiting for your questions but there are none coming so i'm going to play this game here there's a game called this or that that i saw on pinterest okay so they ask you either this or that you pick one so the first thing is formal or casual you don't have to think this game you don't have to think you don't have to think too much it's just a game pick one and move on formal or casual 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 every day all day i like to feel comfortable and feel casual like not too a eh, pressured beach or pool definitely the pool because i can't swim in the beach you go with casual eh? okay What's... let me know what you'd go with in the comment section so there's another one early bed or night owl i'm a night owl because i like to stay awake i don't know but for some funny reason i've been picking this odd behavior that i can be on the internet watching something on instagram before i know i'm on somebody's 2000 early 2000 instagram trying to dig god knows what so yes i'm a night owl sandals or sneakers sandals sandals i'm a sandals person and um, vinyl or spotify i don't know what vinyl is so i'll go for spotify summer or winter i don't know i haven't experienced winter so i'm going to go with summer because it's summer all day in ghana um tokyo or paris i'll pick paris because of the eiffel tower and because it's a love love city right i like love what would you guys pick let me know email or letter i'm a millennial so i'm definitely going to go for an email instagram or twitter i love visual so definitely going to go for instagram what would you go for instagram or twitter staying in or going out definitely staying in because i love me some homemade food and some cushion yes guys so this brings us to the end of today's live session it was so exciting it was so fun filled let me know your comment section of let me know in the comment section of what you think about today's live session should i have it more often do drop your thoughts in the comment section and i'll happy to read it if i need to respond i would respond thank you so much don't forget to like, subscribe. Bye.